I turned the wrong cheek. There we go. Yep, we're on. Okay. Good evening, everyone. Uh, it's 7 pm, it's Wednesday evening. So it's um, your strictly teaching time again uh, with Shana and Phil. Uh, she's there as usual, just getting us. Uh, we hope you've been able to practice uh, since Monday evening. Um, and tonight, uh, we will go to on Monday, but this evening we're going to cover the um, the old time waltz part of it, um, also honouring your partner and uh, just finishing the end of it as well. Uh, but as ever, um, we're just going to do those few house rules. And um, so, first of all, um, you have to do this at your own risk in the home uh, because we're not insured for you um, doing it from home. So. What we'd like you to do, if you're going to dance along with us, is to make sure that all the furniture is pushed away, out of the way, the chairs, the sofas, um, tables, anything like that. Um, push them back so you can't knock yourselves. Um, if there's anything that could be slippery on the floor, like a rug on a, a wooden floor or something, uh, just make sure you can secure that. Um, if there are any pets about, uh, make sure that they're secure. Uh, and also, uh, that you've got yourself a drink on the side and through there on the left, as ever, so that, ladies and gents, you may well need them. Um, so, um, this evening, as we said, uh, we will sort of concentrate a little bit more on the, uh, the old time waltz, but uh, Shannon will no doubt just come along in a moment if there's any message um, she wants to say. We've got Graham Owen from Up on the Wirral. Oh, right, okay, yes. Good evening, uh, good, Graham. Good evening from Anna and Martin in Chelmsford. I hope you're both well, you two. Mm -hmm. Yes. Dave and Jenny are on oh, saying hello. Yes. Are they outside on their dance floor? I don't oh, know. Right. Oh, and this gorgeous weather. Yes. Beautiful mm -hmm. out there. And Stephanie and David are on, and I know Stephanie had a bad foot, didn't she? Oh, so yes. it's whether she can, she's going to see if she can join dance. in. Okay. Um, Celia's joined us, says good evening. Okay. Good evening, Celia. Carol. Oh, good evening, Carol. <laughs> <laughs> um, my Facebook has just gone pixelated just as I'm speaking, oh, so we'll have to just see how it goes. Right. Uh, Cheryl and John. Mm -hmm. Hi from Paula. Hi, Paula. You made it really early tonight. Normally she can't make it till later. Mm -hmm. Isabella and Nick from Sunny Stevenage. Uh, Linford and Kathy. Meddy. Um, oh, Caroline Waters. They're here, but they're also watching the space preparations for takeoff. Oh, right, okay. Um, Pat and Neil and Abergavenny. Um, hi, David. David's on. Oh, good evening, David. I'm waving here behind oh, the camera. Right. <laughs> no, I'm waving. Um, Pat and Mike in Sut from Brixham. Christine saying hi. Gail, Louise, and Brendan. They're my, my Facebookers. Right. And we've also got Pam and Jim. On saying they sure need the technical lesson. Uh, Roman and Brian are ready to go. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> um, Albert and Ginny from West Bay, and Tom from St uh, Seven Oaks. Seven Oaks. Oh, that's it. Oh, we've got Ed and Penn as well from Pacific Coast. Oh, Andrew's okay. on. Andrew's really just come on as well. Right. So, okay. Right. So we're going to make a start. Yes, so we were thinking possibly what we did on Monday night. Uh, the first part of it. Yes, so we're going to walk through the first part of the lilac waltz. We'll walk it through twice. Mm -hmm. And then do it to music. Once slowly, and then watch us to walk through, and then on to music. Okay, and then we're going to add the waltz part of it. So, yes, so we're still going with what we normally have. Okay, so our third position, front, and we're going to do our walk three. And then two back parallel crosses. Three, two, three, four, four, two, three. The second one without weight. Our travelling three step turn with rise in the middle. One, two, three, two, and just draw it in. Two, three, and do the same thing back. Three, two, three, four, two, three. So our step point, step point. One, two, three, two, two, three. We go move away from each other for third position with a 
rise and lower, keeping the arms out, and then into third position, rear, just about to take hold. Okay, that's where we got that to. Let's do that again. Hey, watch the doors. Here we go. And one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three, five, two, three, six, two, three, seven, two, three, eight, two, three. So second half. One, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two. Any questions before we go into the next bit? And do let us know if you're unsure about anything and we'll go through it. There are no questions. Everyone's just still saying hello, 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 hello. Good. So are we going to no, move on? Music. Oh, done, yes. <laughs> Thank you, Phil. <laughs> Here we go. I'm going to have to run in. How many times have we just one, track, one track, but just keep, and we'll just yeah, walk round and wait. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay, are we all ready, everybody? Let's all set ourselves up. Here we go. People are just coming to the floor. So let us know. Heart, <laughs> like, sad face. Um, how does it go for you at home? Even if you just watched. Yes. <laughs> yes, if there's any part of that, uh, either the footwork or the arm work, uh, just let us know. Um, what's the timing or anything, and we can go through it. But if everything is okay, we shall make a start on the on time once part of yes. it. We want to give ourselves as much time, really, mm -hmm. as we can on this last part. Mainly hearts, I would say hearts and likes, good. coming up. So that's good, isn't it? Okay. Yeah, still a few more coming up. Good, good, good. Right. So, here we go. <laughs> Did I switch you? No, I haven't switched myself. I'll do it now. Okay, Right, switch myself on now. These crunching and noises and everything. I think we worked out what it is. Yeah, it was my death. 
Nothing to do with the bike. <laughs> right, okay. Old time waltz, right? It's based on ballet positions. It's not a case of like, some people think like the polka. It's not like the polka. Um, like normal ballroom waltz, you have a forward part to it and you have a backward part to it. So uh, we're going to start. I'm going to teach you using Phil's feet because he's got really good turn out. Just going to take them off. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, my legs, as I've said, turn in. So they, at my hips, hate this. If you are like me at home and you have problems with your hips, only turn out to where it's comfortable. Okay, uh, and I mean that. Don't do any, don't overcook anything. You might feel all right today, but tomorrow will really ache. So look after yourselves at home. You know your own bodies. So if you do have problems with your hips, only maybe just go for a little amazing turn. So you can show you hopefully. So um, the, the, there's a forward part and a backward part. We're going to do the forward part first. This is called the progressive part of the old time waltz because it progresses you're going forwards down the room and you are the half of the partnership that is making most progression down the room um it's already in position so but we're both going to do these steps so it, this isn't just for leaders this is for followers as well so if you can get yourselves into a fifth position front so if you get your left leg and point it <laughs> to let's say center and you get your right leg at a right angle to it to the toe then your center is on the diagonal so your feet are kind of 45 degrees away from that middle okay so you're going to go into your back leg let your knee go over the front of your foot the toes so this compression going down and you're going to take your right foot and do a heel to toe line of dance, step one of the progressive part. Step two, you're going to take your back foot, your left foot, and actually start it on a toe facing line of dance. Okay, so it's forwards along line of dance. On a heel to the toe into a fifth, the front. The forward part of the old tops. Okay, three steps. Let's try again. So you're going to do forward. So right foot is step one. Step one. Step two is left foot forward, going down a line of dance on the toe, and then you're rotating it quite late, bringing the weight in on the toe heel on the right foot. And that's step three. So it's still right, left, right. Footwork is heel toe, toe, toe heel. Just like ballroom, if you do ballroom. So your front foot, your step one, is heel toe. Heel toe. Then you go to a toe, so you can rotate on it. Toe. And then toe heel. And then lower onto the front foot only. The back foot is then released, ready to go. Into one step. And that is the progressive part of the turn. And this is a progressive natural turn as it rotates to the right. Okay, so I'm should we do it sideways so you can see it sideways. So this is our, our new line of dance. So it's going to go forwards, heel toe, forward again on the left, rotating and bringing right in toe. And heel into a beautiful fifth position, a lovely little square between the two feet. Okay, should we do it from this angle one? It's not that okay. So from fifth, that's it. Starting in fifth. So here we go, it's heel, toe, 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 heel. Okay, the progressive part. So have a little go at home, have a few goes. I'll see if Phil will just do a few more. And I'll just double check in case we've got any questions. You're right to talk it through. Yes, I'm just going to have a start. So, through. we're starting off in front. Okay. Um, so, um, once again, I'm going to use my standing leg. We're going to go into the knee. 
So I'm going to use my standing leg to push off, and I'm going to take my right foot forward onto a heel, and then I'm going to roll it through onto the toe. My left foot I'm bringing forward, and that's going to be a straight toe down and dance. I am now going to spin, keep on turning 180, and I'm going to draw my right heel into my left toe. Now all the weight will be on my right foot, and my left foot is now going to go with the weight ready to make the next step. So it's going to be a one, two, three. Once more. We've got one, two, three. Okay, this is the progressive part. Progressive natural part of the old time waltz. It is a one, two, three. The timing is just the same. So um, as I go down into my standing leg, keep the frame and the back yeah. straight. Don't go over with it. Just go down into that standing leg and now push off onto a heel toe, 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 heel. And I'm ready for my yeah. six. Yes. Okay, so you might have in other dances, I can't think of any straight away, there's lots of places where you have a progressive natural turn, and it might just be those three steps. You don't always do it with the rest of it as well. It's not just for rotating around. You have it as solo. Progressive part, tick, done. Now we get to the rotary part. This is the backward part of the turn. So rather than do it if this way can gather in, if you dance it from there, you can see backwards. And again, this is for both of us. So it's leaders and followers. Yeah. Now you've just finished your previous turn. And leaders, you're going to go into your, sorry, both of us, everybody, is going to go to your right knee. Let your right knee go over your right toe, moving, in this case, to the map, <laughs> which would be the game slide of dance. And I'm going to hold him so he's got his balance. Okay, so you're going into your front knee and you're going to extend your left foot back, toe to out, like so. Okay. Now you're going to push your weight on to release the front toe and you're going to go into what we call a rear fifth position, not a front fifth. So you've got to take your right foot behind your left putting the toe of your back foot to the heel of your front foot. So again, we've got that nice little square shown, and it, you're really, really clever bit. It doesn't move any more than that one step back. You stay up and come down um, on the back heel, front foot ready to go, like so, into a front fifth. So I, I just reverse it, and you're thinking, what did you just do then? Up on the toes, and put it back where we want, okay? <laughs> okay, rear fifth, toes, front fifth, might be difficult on carpet at home, rear fifth, front fifth, okay, and steps two and three of the rotary part are the rotary part, so you're rotating, so you only have step one going backwards, two and three, stay on the spot and rotate. The progressive part, one and two, progress, and then three stays on the spot. So progressive, you can see the progression of, of the other step, two steps going forwards, rotate to one going back. Okay? So it's all about rotation of the back half. Let's try this one. Should we go from the... Okay, here we go, everybody. So maybe you're all joining in, or you might be watching, it's up to you. So you take your step back, turn it out to the wall, it would be. Um, so that is a toe heel, no foot rise, if I remember. Then you're gonna go to a rear fifth, to a toe, push up to toes, round you go, toe heel on the back foot only, front foot ready to carry on. Let's try it again. That's, I find this the hardest. I want you to totally, if you do it perfectly like that, extra point, because it's not easy. Okay, so it's going to be one, two, three. 
Okay, you need to stay on the spot for two and three. A lot of people try and do a side close and keep it going. But you've really got to stick to your guns and stay on the spot. Just let it rotate and then come down. I always think this feels a bit like um, double reverse. Because you have to go for one, rotate and come down on the spot. Same feeling in terms of the movement down the ring. Okay, let's try it once more. Okay, everybody, so the rotary, the natural rotary, old time waltz. So you're going to step back, rear fifth, move to front fifth. All the weight on the back foot, front foot is ready to go in the situation. Okay, let, I'll let Phil have another go if he doesn't mind. And I'll just see if you've got any issues. Gosh, I've had absolutely no comments at all. I think you're all trying it at home. So, um, just before I start, my um, my right toe is punting down the line of dance. So, as I take my left foot back, here, okay, it's going straight. It's not turning in, okay, it's going straight. I'm going to take my right toe now and place it the back of my left heel and there's the right angle and what I'm doing is I'm turning to the right and just switching it okay yeah I've got one I've doing a face like this okay a little pondering face um, and follow the steps yes these are all leader and follower steps mm -hmm. so uh, this is for both of us. So we both, I'll have a go, but I can't do it too. Don't watch my feet. <laughs> for now. Okay, so we're for fifth. So we're both doing the progressive part. It's natural, so it rotates to the right. So you're doing step, step three. Okay, of the progressive. The rotary for both of us is step one, step two, Step three, and it's for both. So we both be trying this. You're thinking, how does that work? I'll show you in a minute. <laughs> okay, try again. Let's do a few progressives, a few rotaries. This isn't easy. So any issues, and then we'll show you how it all put whole so, together. Our progressive. We've got one, two, three, and. You'll know when you've got this right, because although my feet are at right angles, core here, my torso is actually facing diagonal. Okay, so I'll do this one again. So my right toe is pointing down the line of dance. My first step is going down the line of dance to a toe. My second step to a toe is down the line of dance. Now, as I start to turn, and I bring my right heel into my left toe, there's the right angle, but I've finished with my toe diagonal against the line of dance. Well done. Yeah, it's fine. But then our next one, okay, the rotary. Is pointing straight. Now I'm going to take my right toe behind the heel, and now I go up on both toes. And I turn, and my right toe now points completely the opposite way, and I still have the right angle. So my right heel is a left toe. So if we go up on our toes, we can keep on switching from fifth to fifth. Yeah. From fifth. Okay, I just think that you're all stunned or the practicing. <laughs> yeah. It's just not me then. Or, 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 or they've gone, they've gone for a drink. <laughs> I hope you're all doing it at home. Yes. Um, so, I hope you've not worn a hole in the car. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, you're thinking, how on earth does that fit together? Well, whoever is doing the progressive part is going forwards, whoever does the side to your partner. So if we started, we'll start in the same position. So if we're going, moving 
at Leibniz. And we'll go from a fifth. We're not in this position when we start the lineup, but we'll go into that in a second. So I'm going to start with the rotary. Well, that is normally the way around. Normally you start with the around. Normally leader starts with the rotary. Okay, so follow up. We're going to start with a progressive. So we're going to do forward, forward, upwards into the rotary with just the one step and then the rotation. So it's going to be one. We through his feet. Two, and this is why we don't rotate immediately because we are rotating as they rotate into fifth. And on a diagonal, and we do the whole thing again. Except, leader, now you're doing progressive and follower, you're doing the rotational. So one, two, three. And then diagonal alignment in the body. But it turned out in fifth. <laughs> Should we try that again? So follow, we, normally, we normally start it follow with, the, with the forward. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six steps of a natural rotating. Okay, we'll do it once more. I'm going to come and see if you've got any questions. After nine or ten weeks of doing completely different types mm -hmm. of so done, you're doing ever so well now to try a new thing completely. And one. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, six changes of weight there. Okay, <laughs> I'm going to come and see. It will be one, two, three, four, five, six. So there, of the six steps, I've just uh, done um, a rotary and a progressive. I think the fact we're dancing it together is helping. Yes. So you can see how it fits yes. together. Um, yeah, okay, there might be a little bit of buffering. So, but we'll keep going because we can put the, the video plan down, as always. Okay, so uh, that's how the old time waltz works. And you do, you can just do old time waltz and you just do that over and over and over again. But then you do a little change step and you do reverses, just like Viennese. Mm -hmm. Okay, old time waltz, just like Viennese, rotating to the right, changing it, rotating to the left. And you can just keep going around the room doing that on its own. And that's kind of akin to Viennese mm -hmm. flavour, isn't it? Yes. Um, so, in this dance, the lilac waltz, I think a lot of people are losing it on Facebook. Well, fingers crossed we get our broadband extenders next week. Um, so, we have done, in this, we've done our away for third, together for third, okay? So, we're not quite in the right position. Followers, we're, we're not too bad. But leaders, you, you've really got a lot of turns to make here. So, that's why I never think get into position too early, because it's going to be really hard to get around each other. So leader steps, you come into third, already start the rotation. So start to feel, there's quite a lot of CBN. Movement on step one, you've got to end backing line of dance with your right foot, left foot, yes. left foot. Okay, stepping across partner's path so she can go through feet. And that's how we get into it. Then you do your rear fifth to front fifth. That's it. Then you do your progressive, as we've just done, forward, forward, fifth. Okay? So let's do leaders a few times, then we'll do followers. I'll just see. Yeah, I think, I think quite a few are losing the... Um... Okay. So, um, we've actually come out. And we've come in to third. Yeah? So here, leaders, we've got to take this... Uh, left foot right across our partner so she can step through our feet. But we've got to end up with that foot facing, which would be against the line of dance. But we are going with line of dance. Now, okay, my right toe is coming behind into rear fifth, and I do the switch. So my foot then is in front fifth. Okay? I'll do that once more. So this is, this, 
So far. This is just leader. I'm saying just leader just leader now, not followers. Here, we've not come right into hold, as Hunnibal had said. So as I step across now and then turn my foot, my partner now, she steps through my feet, that's where we're actually going to come into a proper hold as she drives towards me. Now I can take my right toe round into rear fifth and switch. My right toe now is down the line of dance and my centre is facing back of centre. Now I'm going to go down the line of dance, heel toe, then my left foot to the toe, and then I bring my right foot in to the heel. So they're the six steps. Yeah, the first six steps. First six steps. Um, obviously, now we're thinking of how it fits in the line of waltz. Uh, we're using all the technique we just talked about, but it's just the entry and the exit that can be a bit different. So we've got a partner, we've risen, we've lowered, we're on the front foot, we're going to move our back foot, our right foot. It's not in front of us, it's in rear third at the moment, which is good. We're going to take our back foot and take it line of dance, toe, toe, heel. So we're doing the progressive part as follower. Leader is doing the backward rotary, okay? The only difference is, from what we did before, that entry, that first step into it. So from now, followers, we are going from a third position using the back foot, the right foot, to go forward, forward, third, down the room. Forward, sorry, forward, forward, fifth. Like that. Okay, hope that makes sense. So followers, we've done away from the third, in the line of course, together for third, we're moving this back foot, forward, forward, fifth. From there, we then do the rotary part exactly as we did it before. Back, rear fifth, front fifth. And that's our first six steps. So we'll just do the first six steps once more. So here we go. Follow us the, the first six steps. One, two, three, Four, five, six. Okay, we'll do one last go. So we've done away. Together. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay? <laughs> leader. Just those first six steps. So, leader, we've come out into third. Written, and we go back into third and we're not into hold properly yet. So now we're going to go one, two, three. Okay, have one more for leaders and then we'll pull it together. So we've gone out and we've come in. And it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so if we're doing it together, we've got to the end of the first section. So we're going away for third, together for third, with that little rise and fall. So we don't have to take hold straight away. I feel as follower, I'm going to let the leader come across me and then I collect as he goes to about like, okay? So just get some rotation started first. And one, two, three, four, I'm going to carry on, five, six. six. I just kicked him. <laughs> <laughs> Away from them, go them, and one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so that makes sense. Have a, have a few goes, have a few goes at home, and see if you if you are lucky to have a couple at home. There's two of you. Have a go together. If not, do it on your own. Mm -hmm. I used to dance this round on my own when I was six and seven. Mm -hmm. And um, I know just one or two there saying they're finding it relatively. Yeah, that helps so much. I know Carol will be fine with this because she took her. Yeah, she said to you. Yeah. yeah. I think, if I remember right, she got a tension in this when she did. Yeah, it. yeah. Mm -hmm. Lovely turn out, you see. Yes. Okay, so we'll do it once more, shall we? Mm -hmm. And then we'll look at that last section. So we've gone away. Our arms are up. So as we come in, we don't have to take hold. I will connect with the palm to palm contact on left to right, but then just wait until you're into the rotation before, as if you're going 
progress and twirl, progress and twirl. It doesn't keep going. It's not a keep going. It's not equally. <laughs> no comments at all. Right. So I'm hoping that's a good sign. So we've got the next three steps, which mm. just go with our normal pattern. I hope you're still with this at home. So Lita, can you do little tiddly steps, Phil? Is that okay? Can, yes. Mm -hmm. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. And you've got another rotary, just like normal. Seven, one, eight, two, <laughs> nine. Okay, up to nine steps now. Okay. So the first step, that's different. The rest of it, just leader now. We're going to make sure we separate the leader and the followers. So he's going to do massive one, two, three, and rotary two, three. It's kind of tile. <laughs> okay, so we've now done our three bars. Followers. Okay, so go away, come in. So we do our progressive one, two, three. Then we do our rotary one, two, three. Then we do our progressive one, two, three. Okay, that's a little bit more straightforward. We've got less rotation at the beginning. Um, got that to the so, um, Let's try it again. So follow us. So progressive, rotary, progressive. Nine steps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All rotating to right. Who can make sense? Even if it's not quite in yet, you've never done it. I hope that's technical jargon. Mm -hmm. Tiddly tiddly steps. Okay. So we're looking to end on this diagonal um, after each set of three, but we're not in it to start with. And what we said, two, three, my diagonal, four, five, <laughs> six, really small now, seven, eight, nine. We're trying to space the light dance so you can see how it fits around the room normally. Okay, mm -hmm. try again. Here we go, ready? And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It doesn't move as much as a beanies or a ballroom. You have less swing, slightly less swing in this. Uh, feet turned out. Your knees go over your toes the whole time. So actually going out sides rather than forwards. Um, anything else? So it should feel different. It should feel different. I'm just concerned about my four hips. <laughs> okay, good. Oh, Alison has just said. Let's have a look. Okay, I think I think really it's just getting your head around it because it is so different. Uh, but when you do it, um, it gives you it gives you that old time feel, yes. doesn't it? And it makes it makes doing the waltz yes so much easier yes you're using your feet to yeah. turn aren't you mm -hmm. yeah my well, body tension. um okay so last three steps yes Ooh, are you there everybody so from here we've gone one two three four five six seven eight nine Okay, now then, um, from here, okay, because the arm is yeah. right can we, here. Should we just move you across a bit? Yes. Yeah. So the last three steps for leader is, is a separate figure um, enabling you to turn out and start again. So really, the old time waltz finishes on that third bar there. We're going to do what we call a pas de valse now. So it's a forward, forward, third. So it's forward on the right foot, forward on a diagonal, I would say, on the left to a toe, and then a toe heel into, you put your hand back on your hip, you reconnect with your partner on a single hand hold, into that knee, back knee, and off you go again. Okay, so it's just a, it's like a little um, change step. Forward, forward, 
into third. Third at the end in that free round, but we started in that position, in a third position front, and then you came. So forward, 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 third. Beautifully done. And we're ready to go off again from the beginning. That's it, it's together for leaders. So your entry step, so your entry step is slightly different as well. So you, you've got to do a bit more turnaround, that's it. But from now on in, so then, that's it. Progressive, two, three, with a rotary, two, <laughs> three, into the corner, and a pas de valse, two, three. Okay, four bars. Twelve steps. Twelve steps. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And you should be moving to your left on those last three steps as you need to open out away from point. That's not just because he's going to go to the geranium, mm -hmm. um, although I'm sure that. <laughs> um, it's because you need to move away from your partner so you both move slightly away at the very end knowing you've got to start again one last go for leader one two if you don't get it now don't worry at all if this is new for you this will be this will be completely new for you so it's a case of get the idea i think and then you can always come back and have a little look another time if you want to try it um I find most people, so followers, um, we've got, uh, I'll go from the first one, from our third, so we've got our progressive, our rotary, our progressive, to there. So our last one is a rotary, we're going backwards into it, but rather than rotate to fifth, which is to the toe, all we do is rotate to third, to the middle of the foot. So our four stays, this, our rear fifth stays the same, but as we go, our toes rotate, only exit at the middle, not fifth. How pernickety is that for me to say that? It's, it's ridiculous, isn't it? Just, but just so you know, that's the start position. So, you know, ballet, you'll know fifth is different, and it's a different position when you start, you push easier at the centre rather than it. So, um, third position at the end, that's the only thing you need to think about, followers. Third position to start this, third position to finish it. So, a third, rear third, we do our progressive and try to little steps. Our rotary, our progressive, and our rotary to third. The rotary to third. Arms out. Start again. Alison Neen said they've just got in from a beautiful walk in the evening, but they'll catch up tomorrow. Yes, yes. Um, well, that's the thing. It's taken me over two years to get my head around that manoeuvre and oh. spins. Um, he's in Worthing Essex, and we're both doing a wonderful job. Oh, we are. Mm. Oh. I, think he, I think he must be getting it. Yeah, yes. I hope so. Yeah. For me, it's the understanding of it. When you're in the middle of doing it, uh, we all fudge bits, you know, I mean, the top, top, top guys, the control, and that is just years and years of practice of doing it. Mm -hmm. But it, I did a little bit, just stay on the spot. So if you're going back, if you can do a, some people just do a cross behind and then twist, but at least mm -hmm. it's starting to get that flavour of it. If you've got good turn out, it comes easier. Yeah, it's oh, actually, no I'm actually well. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, so shall we do the, see if we can do it really tiny, really, really tiny, mm -hmm. and as if we were line of dance. You might find, you not have, if you've got enough room at home, have a go, but if not, don't worry, just, you can have a little look. So we're in third to start, and we start in third, finish in third. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, we're starting to move away now. Let your arm slide um, on leaders right, followers left, just to get a pass again. But move away. Um, ten. ten. We're on ten. Ten, eleven, twelve. So if you're in a line of dance, you should be a pass at the end, 
ready to start again with your air roll. Once more, yes, should, should we move up a bit? Because yeah. the end is where actually, because you'll land in the middle and not. If we go there, yeah. okay. even more. So you know what we're doing here. Okay, here we go. Okay, ready. And one, two, three, four, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Ready to start again. Okay, does it make sense? Does it make sense? Even if you're not actually dancing it properly, I'll bring on there, which one? Mm -hmm. Okay, dizzy, oh gosh. <laughs> Do you know what? I find this, I don't find I get as dizzy doing this because you've got straight bits mm. in it, whereas it's not continually turning. Um, okay. Right. The last thing we have to do is do it to music. Gosh, everybody. If I just play about a minute of music, just have a plus four bars, yeah, over and over again. Okay, now obviously it's a bit faster. <laughs> we just did it. Mm -hmm. But have a go, and you've got the lilt, you've got the rise and fall. Okay, good. Do you know what? I've never ever taught an old time waltz in 50 minutes before. You have done so well at home. Well done. It is not easy. If it's if it's new to you, that is going to take some bedding in. But the idea of these little tasters each week is to give you a taster to see, you know, and if you think, I really love this dance, then hopefully, I mean, we might do more, but um, hopefully you've got teachers or dances you can go to and try it. Try and put this old time waltz in. Never be afraid of it. Have a little go. Last thing, completely the last thing now. This is fun now, this last finish. Just dancing it around the best we can. Okay, so we're not going to start and wait for David's lovely music, like so. We're going to start with an acknowledgement. So, can we just move forward a little bit? So, we're going to start. so even if you can't manage the waltz, you'll be able to do this bit. So, feet together. Arms by your sides, and if this music goes one, two, three, two, two, three, 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 two, three, four, two, three, then he starts. Okay, so one, two, three, we're just going to wait. We're going to do one, two, three. On the two, the second bar, we're going to go on the foot nearest partner and stand forward, walk forward. Two, two, three. So by the three, you want to be. No, no, the. Not the third bar yet. So it's one, two, three, two, two, three. Okay? Yeah. One, two, three, two, two, three. Then on the three, we've got to go on. Okay, the three followers, 
So you're going to take your left foot behind your back and curtsy. Three. On the three, lead as you can. Put your, you can put your um, foot in front, you can put your arm across, you can bow, other hand behind if you want to. A, a nice, nice little bow. Three. Come back up. Two, three. And then back to where you are on the floor. Four. Take the hand hold. Two, three. Okay. So you've got your four, you've got numbers there. One, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four. So if I don't count the two threes between, one, two, three, four. Okay, let's just try that one more. And this two, three, four. And off you go. All right? Shall we go? Yes. Whole thing. <clears throat> The whole thing, right, the whole thing. Whole thing. Too easy. What do you reckon, everybody? Do you reckon we can do it? Oh, damn. Be... Right. I'm just, just in case. David says, I bet you're all fabulous. I agree. I bet they're all fabulous. Okay, here we go. Ready? With your acknowledgement, everybody. It's straight in, really. Just wait for one, two, three, and go. Here we go. And. So we hope you enjoy that. Um, we hopefully look forward at some stage in the future where we may well see you on the dance floor. Yes. And this comes on. Yes. You'll be really nervous now getting up. <laughs> <laughs> we just like to see you dance though, don't worry. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, yes. It's able to use it in other dances. Absolutely. As well. so, yeah. um, yes. Look forward to having the opportunity yeah. uh, to get up and dance with it. Uh, so, um, this week we've got no Friday. No, so you just now. Mm -hmm. If you've said you're quite interested, but haven't sort of committed to it yet, just make sure you do so before Friday. Mm -hmm. If anyone hasn't sent me a video, there are one or two. So we've got a starting point to mm -hmm. go from. Um, but I'm going to send things tomorrow. So that's for the people who have uh, signed up to do medals. Yeah. The night at seven. Yeah. But we will also be back here for everyone at six forty-five. Yeah. On Saturday evening. On Saturday. For a dance. Yes. Um, so, if you feel like it, do join us. We should be doing this. You can put your white ones, if you like, and your tails, along with a few more. All the other ones. 
Yeah, because absolutely. We're going to do it on Friday next week. <laughs> um, it's going to be country and western. Mm. I know. So we're going to do the waltz across Texas as a couple, as well as the solo mm -hmm. and the couple. first of all, yeah. and then we're going to show you how to change it to a couple. If everyone's it, we'll just do it probably Monday. Mm -hmm. If anyone hasn't done it before, we'll probably take line dance. It depends how much you already know. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so it's waltz, it's a waltz, mm -hmm. but it's a, it's a line dance waltz that you can do as well. Mm -hmm. But you can do it as a solo. So a new modern sequence, you know, mm -hmm. but jive, mm -hmm. Juliet jive, it's the week after that. Yeah. So it's uh, country and western next week, go try and style. Mm -hmm. And then after that, it's the modern sequence jive. So I think that's it. Uh, the weather has been absolutely beautiful. Uh, and I want to, you've been out walking this evening. So, um, yeah, so um, tomorrow evening, it will be there for you to go back on uh, and have a look for yourselves. Um, otherwise, for those that have signed up for Friday evening, we'll see you Friday at seven. Otherwise, hopefully we'll see you, everybody, uh, about uh, 6.45 on Saturday. So do enjoy the sunshine, do stay well and healthy, and from us, us to you. you. Good night, everybody. Stay Good night. Bye-bye. Thank you for doing the classic all with us.